Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum And a very good morning Hi everyone Okay, so how are all of you are doing well So due to the restriction movement order Ataupun kita panggil uh, perintah kawalan pergerakan So I hope all of you stay at home Jangan keluar rumah Dengar nasihat kerajaan So that kita takkan berlanjut Okay, lanjut lagi, lanjut lagi Okay, right So now we are in chapter 4 and then I will continue what have been taught by teacher Azwa and then kita akan start for 4.4 we will learn about group 1 elements. Okay. So actually for the 4.4 it will be divided into few parts which is the first part I want all of you the student should be able to so this is the learning outcome. Alright, so for the 4.4.1, I want all of you be able to generalize the physical changes of elements when going down group 1. Okay. Group 1 metal ada special name. We call our group 1 metal ni sebagai alkali metal. I know that all of you have already know the definition of the alkali when you were in lower form, right? But the definition is chemistry in chemistry is slightly different. We call group 1 metal as an alkali metal because when this metal dissolves in water, it will form oxide and hydroxide compound or solution. That's why we consider uh, this metal as alkaline solution. In lower form, you know the basic properties Alkaline is bitter, alkali is, has pH value more than 7, right? But in chemistry, if you uh, jumpa mana-mana compound yang terdiri daripada oxide and hydroxide group, so it is considered as base or alkaline compound, okay? Alright, now as you see, as you saw the slide previously, uh, missing one to the situ Sepatutnya ada hydrogen lagi di atas tu So that alkaline But hydrogen is not a metal So that's why it is not considered as alkaline metal lah <coughs> So uh, Alkaline metal terdiri daripada Consists of lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium and francium Kenapa kita letak all this metal in this group it is uh, called first element of period kerana this metal have only one valence electron okay alright and apabila kita sebut pasal valence electron dia sama means all this metal share the same chemical properties but not the physical properties ha? And all this metal are very reactive Kita akan tengok uh, slide yang sebentar lagi That's why Untuk group-group ini They need to be stored in all Supaya tiada reaction dengan oksigen Ataupun water vapor in air So as I mentioned before So the physical properties of alkaline metals is quite various Okay, but generally, generally, the alkali metal, when they are at room temperature, they exist as solid. The second one, they are very good conductors of heat and electricity. So, student, if you choose to answer the question, alright, if you said a good conductors, please to lace together. Alright, good conductors of heat and electricity. Okay. And the alkali metal also have a shiny and silvery surface. Generally, dia ma, dia orang mempunyai low melting and boiling point and also low density. So this is what we are going to learn. Alright. So the important trends when we when going down the group. So when going down the group one, apa yang kita dapat tengok adalah generally the size of atoms will be increased. Okay, to the first one. The second one is the melting and boiling point will be decreased. The third one, density akan decrease. And also the hardness of the group 1 metal also decrease. Maksudnya dia makin lembut. 
So the first trend, the first trend that we are going to learn uh, is the size of the atom. So generally, when we going down the group, the size of atom will be increased. So as you can see, daripada tepi di sini, okay, daripada lithium sampai le cesium, okay, the size of the atom keep increasing. Why? It is because the number of shells occupied with electrons in the atom increase. So as you can see, the number of shell increase. So when the number of shell increase, so the atom with more shells is bigger than the atom with fewer shells. Simple, right? Okay. Okay. Sekarang kita akan tengok pula kepada boiling and melting point. Generally, seperti yang kamu tengok pada table yang di tepi tu, dari lithium to francium atom. So, dari lithium to francium atom, the boiling point decrease. So, generally, when going down the group, melting and boiling point for group 1 animals, <laughs> for sorry, for group 1 elements akan decrease. Okay? Why this is happening? Okay. Alright, kalau kamu tengok di tepi tu, walaupun dia tak decrease secara sekata, tapi we can say, dia berkurang. Alright? Dan, kenapa, this? why this is happening? So, when going down the group, so as we discussed, I mean earlier, the size of an atom increases. Dia akan become bigger. So, bila become bigger, the distance, alright, between the nucleus and then the out. Uh, the valence electron Okay The valence electron Become further away Makin jauh So bila makin jauh Alright The process of attraction Between the atoms Become weaker Alright So bila become weaker Alright So less energy Is needed To overcome The weak forces Of attractions So that's why The boiling and melting point Decrease Okay next so next, we are talking about the solubility of the oxides, hydroxide and salt of alkali metals. Alright? So we know that group 1 ni, dia akan uh, form oxide and hydroxide, I mean compound. Okay? Oxide and hydroxide uh, metal. <coughs> dan, oxide dan hydroxide uh, alkali metal ni, semuanya soluble dalam water. Alright, semua soluble dalam water. Cuma the difference adalah sekiranya dia adalah oxide dan oxide hydroxide groups, bila dia soluble dalam water, it will form an alkali solution. Other than that, okay, other than that, for example, like sulfate salt, alright, carbonate salt, nitrate salt, chloride salt, other than that, dia juga soluble dalam water, but it is not considered as alkaline solution. Dia di considered sebagai neutral Okay Okay now For this part Okay next we go to the 4.4.2 Where we, 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 we have finished about the I mean physical properties For group 1 metals I mean so that explain about the differences uh, Between uh, physical uh, properties Okay, for group 1, in term of their density, in term of their size, in term of their, I mean, solubility, in term of their uh, boiling and melting point. So now, in this subtopic 4.4.2, senak kamu semua should be able to investigate through experiment the chemical properties of group 1 elements with water, oxygen, gas and chlorine. Okay. Secara spesifiknya, secara detailnya, apa yang saya mahu adalah Kamu boleh explain, okay, chemical properties apabila group 1 elements ini react antara tiga benda ni So, bila group 1 element react dengan air, react dengan oxygen gas, react dengan chlorine So, what will be happen? Okay Okay, ni adalah secara general chemical properties untuk alkali metals ha? Alright so the first for the first uh, cri for the first property is back in your mind semua group 1 metal are very reactive metal that's why dia bukannya simply boleh dikeluarkan daripada lab even kamu tidak boleh letak di luar di atas meja ataupun pegang with your bare hand alright because it's a very reactive metal okay 
And then it shows disebabkan disebabkan a uh, group 1 ini mempunyai a uh, same or similar chemical properties so dia boleh react semua group 1 metal boleh react dengan water boleh react dengan oksigen boleh react dengan klorin untuk form new compounds alright so uh, as i mentioned previously semua atoms group 1 ni metal consists of dia ada satu sahaja valence electron okey dia ada satu sahaja valence electron dan bila dia react dia lose okey satu valence electron dia tu untuk jadi positively charged ion so that's why lah kalau kamu tengok selama ni yang kamu ingat tu cation tu okey lithium ion sodium ion potassium ion kenapakah dia mempunyai satu charge sebab dia donate satu elektron kenapa dia donate satu elektron sebab dia mempunyai hanya satu sahaja valence electron dan kenapa dia donate? Okay. Sebab dia donate sebab dia nak achieve stable electron arrangement. Supaya dia punya uh, electron arrangement tu become stable. Sekarang dia tak stable. Okay. Okay. Alright now. For the first reaction. Okay. So, uh, mau ajar kamu adalah reaction antara alkali metals dengan water. So, macam mana cara-cara dia bila kita buat eksperimen benda ni, kita akan ambil daripada, uh, kita akan ambil guna tong, okay. Dan kita akan ambil kerana kita stop uh, alkali metal ni bawah paraffin oil. Dan kita akan keluar daripada lab dan kita akan slow-slow keluarkan dia. Dan kita akan cut dia into a smaller pieces only. Sebelum cut tu, kita lap dulu dia. Tapi lap jangan terlampau kering. Sebab kalau dia kering, kita takut dia react dengan uh, water vapor in the air. Alright? Ataupun dia react dengan oksigen. Because it's a very reactive metal. Okay? And then lepas kita cut into a smaller piece. And then kita ambil, kita pun letak sedikit dalam air. Dan kita tengok, kita observe dia. Alright? So, apa akan jadi bila kita letak dia di dalam air? So, this is the general equation dia. So, I give it one metal. Bila dia react dengan water... Dia akan form alkali dan hydrogen gas. Okay. Alkali solution dengan hydrogen gas. So, much, so dan dia react vigorously dengan water. So, kamu akan nampak bahawa uh, flame dalam water tu. Yang terbakar di dalam air. Okay. Alright. Okay. So, for common observation kita boleh tengok daripada sini. As I put on the slide. Seperti yang letak dalam slide. Kamu boleh baca. Ini a very good common observation Kamu kena tahu ha? Okay, lithium, sodium and potas, uh, potassium Biasa kita guna lithium, sodium and potassium je Kita tak akan guna elemen lain daripada tu Sebab dia terlampau reaktif And it's a quite dangerous dan sangat Sangat dangerous lah untuk guna dalam lab Okay So, sebab tu lah kita letak Okay, mula-mula kamu ambil lithium Okay, potong uh, lap dulu dia Jangan lap terlampau kering Okay, selepas tu kamu potong itu cut into a smaller piece Alright, dan letak dalam air. Dan bila kita letak, okay, secara uh, commonnya, kamu akan tengok lithium, sodium dengan pot ataupun potassium yang kamu guna, dia akan float, dia akan move around on the surface of the water. Dia akan move dulu, dia akan bergerak, ha, macam berblik tu. Ha, okay, selepas tu baru dia akan dissolve dalam water. Ha, baru dia dissolve dalam water. Why conclusion dia ma macam tu? Kenapa dia tidak terus tenggelam macam kita letak batu dalam air, terus tenggelam ke dasar? Because seperti yang selet, bagi tahu pada slide kita pada uh, sebelum ni yang grade one metal has a very low den density water 1.0 gram per cm cube <coughs> per cm cube bahkan dia punya density so lithium sodium and potassium ni dia less than than water that's why dia boleh float ah alright dan <coughs> gas dia tu anda kata kalau kita kumpul Okay, macam mana kita boleh detect hydrogen gas? Sebab the gas produces a pop sound when ignited with a lighted wooden splinter. So, kamu sudah belajar benda ni masa lower form bahkan. Ha, yang untuk test hydrogen gas, kita akan guna lighted wooden splinter dan dia akan produce pop pop sound. Okay? Alright. <coughs> Selain daripada tu, kamu akan tengok bahawa 
uh, colorless gas dia colorless flammable dia 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 nampak macam gas tapi dia colorless okey dia colorless dia colorless flammable gas colorless flammable gas dia tu adalah hydrogen okey kalau tak percaya test tu dengan tu dengan wooden splinter tu <coughs> dan solution akan turns blue apabila ditested with universal indicator kenapa sebab dia telah bertukar menjadi alkali solution Selain daripada tu kita juga boleh guna another indicator Biasanya dalam lab kita akan guna phenethylene indicator So kalau kamu letak phenethylene indicator Selepas eksperimen ni berlaku Kamu akan tengok solution tu terus bertukar jadi warna pink Kenapa? Sebab solution tersebut telah bertukar menjadi alkaline solution Kenapa alkaline solution? Sebab dia react dengan Okay, dia react dengan alkaline metal Okay Alright So, bila kita sebut alkali Alkali uh, Alkali ni at Ataupun basis ni Maksudnya dia punya compound Ataupun solution Mesti terdiri daripada Group hydroxide Ataupun oxide Try kamu tengok yang mula-mula di atas tu Lithium Bila react dengan Water Dia jadi lithium hydroxide Plus hydrogen gas So pergi balik slide sebelumnya Tengok slide sebelumnya Group 1 metals React dengan water Jadi alkali Plus hydrogen gas So, sebagai contoh, lithium react dengan water, jadi lithium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. Okay, selepas tu kamu kena balancekan dia. Okay, observation dia, lithium metal ni, dia move slow atas surface of the water dengan freezing sound. Okay, selepas tu kamu tukar pula guna sodium. Sama sahaja, cuma tukarlah metal tu kepada sodium, tapi tetap sama. Dia akan jadi metal react dengan water. Sama ada dia jadi metal oxide ataupun hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. So, dia akan jadi metal high hydroxide. So, di sini sodium react dengan water. So, jadi sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. Dan kamu akan tengok sodium ni move laju sikit. On the surface of water dengan freezing sound. Tetapi bila comes to potassium, okay, dia react violently dengan water. Sangat laju. Dan move very fast on the water dan dia burn dengan lilac. Flame. Okay Kalau kamu nak tahu dengan lebih lanjut Macam mana reaction dengan uh, Group 1 metal uh, Group 1 metal ni dengan uh, water Kamu boleh uh, Tekan link YouTube yang se-attached di sini It's a very interesting video Okay For you to uh, Ni lah To watch Okay So kita boleh tengok Daripada atas sampai ke bawah Makin lama makin lama Dia makin Dia makin Dia makin reaktif Alright Maksudnya reaktif Ke reaktif Ke reaktifan dia tu Reaktiviti towards water tu Makin increase Okay Dia makin increase Next We are going to discuss about The reaction of alkali metal Alkali metals Dengan oxygen Sama je macam tadi Alright So Alkali metal ni Tetap dia akan reaktif Cuma Okay Dalam Reaction between Alkali metal React dengan oxygen Produk dia adalah metal oxide sahaja. Boleh? So, metals bila react dengan oxygen gas. Group 1 metal ni bila react dengan oxygen gas. Dia akan jadi metal oxide. Dan kamu tidak boleh simply boleh bakar macam tu sahaja di luar. Ha? It's a very dangerous. Biasanya kita letak dalam gas jar. Okay, seperti yang uh, tu. Lukisan di tepi tu. So, bila letak dalam gas jar dan bila kita letak ke oxygen gas. Alright, dia akan burn. Ha? Alright. So, lithium, sodium dan potassium yang telah terbakar ni, dia akan membentuk powders yang berwarna putih. So, metal oxide dia tu warna white. White in colour. So, metal metal oxide dia tu white in colour. So, you have to bear in your mind lah. So, the colour of metal oxide for lithium, sodium and potassium ni white in colour. Ha? Selepas dia react dalam oksigen. So, warna asal metal-metal ni macam yang kita discuss sebelum ni, dia adalah silvery and And shiny So bila dia react dengan, dengan oxygen gas Dia jadi metal oxide So dia jadi white oxide powders Alright However Kita boleh furtherkan reaction tersebut Bila kita masukkan uh, Hasil uh, metal oxide Yang berwarna putih itu Bila kita dissolve dalam water Dia akan producekan solution Yang turn red limus paper To To blue Means Dia jadi alkali solution lah Sebab red 
uh, sebab bila kita guna red limus paper and then bila turn to blue it means that the solution is alkali understood right okay so um, sama sahaja dengan reaction uh, sebelum ni reactivity dia akan increase juga daripada lithium sodium to potassium biasanya kita guna tiga elemen ni lah yang paling popular dan reactivity akan makin meningkat lithium paling rendah Okay, seterusnya sodium dan potassium. Macam mana kita boleh tahu daripada segi observation dia? Okay, kamu boleh tengok observation. Ha? Tengok ni. Okay, lithium. Bila dia react dengan oksigen. First, dia akan jadi lithium or oxide. And then, kamu balancekan equation. Kamu akan tengok observation dia, dia akan burn with red flame. Benda ni actually kena... Set, I don't like to use memorize, tapi tahulah. You need to... You need to know how to differentiate the color of the flame. Kalau lithium, dia burns dengan red flame. Dan dia akan produce white powder selepas reaction tersebut. Sodium dengan oksigen pula. Okay, dia akan jadi sodium react dengan oksigen jadi sodium or oxide. Dan dia burn with bright yellow flame. Maksudnya makin panas. Okay, makin panas. Dan tetap akan jadi white powder immediately selepas reaction tersebut. Dan potassium dengan oksigen, dia akan jadi potassium oxide. Dan dia burn, dia terbakar dengan colour yang sangat bright, purplish flame. Okay, ini menunjukkan bahawa potassium lagi reaktif berbanding sodium dan sodium more reaktif than lithium. Dan semua ni, uh, dia punya oxide metal ni semuanya warna dia white. White powder. Kalau kamu nak interesting lagi, boleh tengok video yang saya attach di sini juga. Okay. Alright, next. Next, metal oxide yang kita dapat tadi tu, kita boleh further react. Macam saya bagi tahu tadi, kita boleh further react dalam water. Dan bila dia dissolve dalam water, dia akan dissolve dalam water. Dan bila dia dissolve, oh, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Alright, so bila dia dissolve dalam water, dia akan form alkaline solution. Macam mana kita proof this? So bila kamu letak red limus paper, red limus paper akan turn to, okay, dia akan turn to blue. Menunjukkan bahawa benda ni alkaline solution lah. Nama lagi alkaline metal kan? Uh, Alright So lithium oxide bila react dengan water So bila dissolve from water Lithium oxide tu tadi bila react dengan water Dia akan jadi lithium hydroxide Okay So sodium oxide react dengan water Akan jadi sodium hy hydroxide Sama juga dengan potassium tu tadi Okay Okay now Next The last Ada empat reaction semua ada empat reaction ke? Ah, yes, empat reaction. Okay, so this is the fourth. Okay, last but not least. Alright, so the reaction, but not not last lagi ya. Ha. Reaction of alkali metal. Okay, bila dia react dengan klorin. Okay, bila dia react dengan klorin, dia akan jadi white metal chloride salt. Okay, dia akan jadi metal chloride. Sodium react dengan klorin gas. Akan jadi sodium chloride. Uh, sodium chloride tu garam kita makan tu lah uh, Alright So metal chloride salt ni Bila form Dia soluble dalam water Dan dia bagi Neutral solution pH 7 Kenapa dia neutral solution? Sebab dia salt Okay dia salt Salt pH dia 7 uh. Dan sama je macam tadi juga Bila kita melakukan combustion kepada uh, Ataupun react dengan gas Group 1 metal ni Kita kena buat dalam gas jar Jangan simply buat di luar je. <coughs> okay, now. So, lithium. Bila react dengan klorin. So, dia akan jadi lithium chloride. Okay. As you can see, the observation. Dia burn slowly with reddish flame. White solid. Solid dia white. Macam tadi, oxide tadi pun white juga. Cuma, di sini kita boleh define reactivity dia makin lama makin increase berdasarkan color flame dia. Color sodium. Dia burn brightly with yellowish flame. Kalau potassium, brightly with a purplish flame. Boleh ya? Anak-anak semua, are you still with me? Okay, good. <coughs> Disebabkan all the group 1 metals ni are very reactive, so they must be safety precautions. Okay, bila kamu handle with this kind of things. Okay, the first one, seperti yang saya bagi tahu tadi, Benda ni kena stock in paraffin oils in bottles. Why kita kena uh, stock in paraffin oils in bottle? Kita tahu oils ni dia prevent from water and oxygen. Kita tidak mahu benda ni react dengan 
uh, water, uh, oxygen ataupun water vapor in the air sebab dia sangat-sangat fragile boleh react dengan senang je dengan oksigen ok the second one do not ever touch the alkali metal with your bare hand takut jadi apa-apa ha, nanti tiba-tiba mati situ terus ok use for set to take alkali metal uh, dan pakailah safety google standard lah tu ok actually this is sama this is apa uh, uh, exam paper answer juga ni uh, jawab skema uh, also you can use dan kita guna small pieces of alkali metal lah bila conducting experiment tadi kan saya bagi tahu kita potong kecil kecil kita potong sikit je lepas tu kita letak uh, dalam air ataupun nak biar dengan oksigen ke ambil sikit je tak perlu banyak ok it's very quite dangerous kalau banyak ok alright now kita sudah masuk next phase which are student pada tahap ni dia kena generalize you have to know alright you have to be able generalize changes dalam reactivity elements ni maksudnya element-element ni reactivity dia bila going down to group 1 ok kita boleh generalize dah semuanya makin react makin reaktif ha, makin reaktif alright the reactivity trend dia adalah bila going down the group size of atom paling utama adalah dia increase dan dia become bigger bila makin besar dan bila makin besar maksudnya single valence electron dekat outermost occupied shells tu dia jadi makin further away daripada nucleus so bila makin further away daripada nucleus okey ia menyebabkan attraction between nucleus and valence electron become we weaker dan tadi kan saya bagi tahu alright the tendency of Group 1 ni dia lebih untuk donate elektron Ok Dia donate elektron Dia bukan untuk menerima So bila makin jauh dan makin makin jauh jarak valence elektron tu dengan nucleus Ok so bila makin weak Dia punya forces of attraction tu Maksudnya It is easier for the atoms to Donate ataupun release Valence elektron Untuk achieve stable elektron arrangement Ah, uh, that's why lah, reactivity dia increases.